Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny. This is C. Look what we got today. Um, and if you look like you have a stiff neck in this whole video, it's because <laughs> move your head to the side. He's trying to block the sun out for us. Okay, <laughs> get back. Get back over there. Let's see. Okay, because without <laughs> without him blocking the sun, we are just basically shadows here yeah, which um, is yeah it's okay it's also good um we are on location at beautiful shawnigan lake british columbia um for the whole month of august we are sponsored by ts global or zoe from ts global that's right and um we have a whole pete theme this month pete's of the world we've got uh indian pete uh japanese pete and of course uh as scottish, pete. Yeah, yeah. scottish pete and but look i always love the uh the presentation of a lot, some of these Japanese the stubbies. The yeah, stubbies. well, just then the artwork is always so cool. There, like, there is always amazing artwork. Like, it's on, so cool. Uh, Japanese whiskey bottles. It is. It, it, there really is. A little samurai. If guy. we were like people that researched our stuff a little bit more, we could probably tell you what the Koshi no Shinobu means. But Fair malt. But do you know what? We're going to be doing a, a live stream with some people, and maybe we can get the answers there. I think we're going to have Reese Sims on for our live stream this yeah. month, so we'll we'll just see and how is it that goes. Craig Stewart. Yeah, Craig Stewart. Cheers for the. You know what? Go back a little bit. It's almost like you've got it like perfectly in the sun or something. Like, uh, no. Oh, okay, this. Yeah, yeah, make it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. It'll look even better with whiskey wow. in it. Yeah. True. Um, anyway, Craig Stewart hooked us up oh, with yeah. these custom T and C glassware. Um, is it, people are just hooking us up all over the place. Look at it, it's a screw top. And we would love to hook nothing is shameful about that. No, we'd love to hook you up with a um, sample of this. If you go to patreoncom slash and C and sign up for our Dram Club, then you will be tasting this whole world of peat we just talked about. Cool. Looking forward to this one. We. It's nice when we get to finally delve in a little bit more with some of these Japanese whiskeys and different world ones. We have oh. had the Koshino Shinobu before, but yeah. not just not this version. Not the lightly um, peated, lightly peated version. You're right. So, and this one's coming to you at forty-three percent. Okay, let's see if we can get the light in there now. Oh, with the Trinity and C logo. Probably not, but whatever. Okay. There's some people talking over there. Hopefully, they can no, get they're here. We're good. Okay. All right. Um, so, okay. 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 yeah, okay. let's get to the nose of this guy. Let's get to let's, the nose. Let's just get to right to it. Splashy spot. Okay, this, I mean, we've had a oh. couple of peated ones tonight, and this is definitely on that lighter side of the peat, but it's But it has like, like a... Fruity and like... I was going to say it was all, it's almost tropical in yeah, a sense. Like, for sure. It's like got almost like papayas and like... And it actually has a little bit of a blended style on the nose, pure malt whiskey, so... It's not saying single malt, which I guess is maybe similar, but... They used to call a lot of single malts pure malt before. So. Yeah, so... But it has a little bit of that kind of like, um, I would say, malty style that some some of the higher-end blends do. Oh, and it's got that Mizunura Japanese oak finish, oh, which is like could be. <laughs> that unique and expensive Well, that's, that's finish, maybe what right? that tropical aspect kind of yeah. comes from, too. It has a little bit of like a peppery note to it, too, even though it's... Clearly, I think it's going to be a sweet one on the flavor. Um, yeah, quite nice. Okay, well, let's give it a taste let's and let's return to the nose. Mm. Well, well, that's quite sweet. Okay, and maybe because it's like, maybe it's because it's Japanese and like there's, you know, an influence in my mind, but it tastes like those white rabbits candies. Yeah, totally. Like it's, like, yeah, which it's I think a is bit vanilla. Rice paper it's kind like of a vanilla rice, thing. Yeah, rice paper vanilla. Mm. Mm. It arrives like super and I think soft. We've, I think we've said that on a note before. Maybe it wasn't Japanese whiskey, but it's like, I, I like just gleeked. <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth watered like, so much. It's like, <laughs> I think we, we've said, uh, you know, some of these peated whiskeys, you can't um, just co totally session and crush them in one night. I bet we could probably get into this bottle pretty easily. Oh, yeah, we can put yeah. a dent in that tonight. Yeah. Um, mm. Mm, that's really quite nice. It's got like a peaches and cream kind of a, yeah. a flavor profile to it, too. You're right. It's super creamy. Um, nice and sweet, too. Mm -hmm. But it's got this buttery vanilla, like, I don't know. It's, it's like, like, a, a, like a really rich caramel. It's like, you know those like vanilla slices and the vanilla stuff in the mm -hmm. middle? It's not too sweet. It's almost, it's like, almost like if they had that with like a 
it's like lemony, almost custardy, it. yeah. right? Like it's like a vanilla pudding almost because it's just so mm. <clears throat> so light. It's it's there. You're mm. loving it. You could just and what was it? Forty three percent. That's pretty good. I really like that actually. It's quite tasty stuff. But also with all those vanillas and those kind of like those are like kind of like um, rich soft notes, but there is still that like fruity aspect of it too. For sure, for sure. There's a a lot going on in this one actually. There's primary and secondary flavor profiles happening. Yeah, it's kind of right? like like it's for, it's a layer cake of flavors. For sure. Hmm, that's good. Oh yeah, and you just kind of keep going back to the nose. You can you get a little bit more of what the flavor is doing too. They match. You know, it's not completely off base. Well played, Shinobi. <laughs> Okay. Cheers, everybody. And thank you for joining us. Uh, click, click like, like subscribe, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm. Subscribe on YouTube. Mm. Could quite easily crush that. That's super crushable. Yeah. That's on the Look highly the crushable yeah. levels. Because it's got like that balance of sweetness and like richness and just and that rice paper vanilla. Soft fucking. Yep. Mm. It's quite good. Let's see what the Yummy. flavors say on here. Nose smells creamy and minty with some light peat. Touch of lemon. Mm, didn't get the lemon, but. 